Hello everyone and welcome back to five. Are we gonna get a character that we want? Uh, can we go yes we are. Oh I am not sure what we need to do, but uh as soon as JFK dies, I will be president. I will be president indeed. Uh I do believe this uh this has an Easter egg associated with it. I'm not hundred percent sure. Uh but there are a few of them, and I have the feeling if multiple people Oh I uh really didn't want to help. I, I lost the election and I uh I kind of got mad. It's kind of hard to do a Nixon voice. Because uh, you have to shake your mouth a bit. Uh, to do it. Uh, and when you have headphones on, it's kind of hard to do that. Uh, as you could probably imagine. Um, oh, we got a T there. A nice little T. Uh, for teamwork. Something that I won't be having for a while. Uh, I do have plans uh, to have other people on. Uh... Definitely, I think after these weapon uh, introspective kind of videos, uh, which I only really want to do for, like, I feel like World at War and Black Ops 1 deserve uh, weapon, like, weapon videos where, like, I show off and then all that shit. I don't feel like BO2 deserves it. Comment down below, comment question of the day, comment down below, do you think that Black Ops 2 weapons have enough diversity and enough uniqueness that they would deserve a uh, series talking about uh, the different mechanics of them. I uh, really like checkers. I, I I don't I don't know what to do about any of these zombies, but uh, do we, uh, Billy there, Billy, would you would 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 uh, excuse me? I'm talking to you. That's uh, kind of rude. Would you like to play some checkers? Uh, uh, knight to B4. Oh, I, I think I may have fucked up. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, I love doing little voice acting quips. Uh, I am not a voice actor by any means. However, I do really try to uh, do voices and I do want to work on my voices. Uh, however, it's kind of hard. It's it's a self-taught thing that, I've, that I do. Like, you know, I'm like, uh, Hey, you! I don't, I don't, it's embarrassing to try to do it, you know what I mean? Just embarrassing. Uh, where's the last fucker? Uh, excuse me. Uh, I would like to see uh some uh 360 no scope action. May I uh may I partake in a little bit of a 360 no scope? Uh -huh, I uh sorry that you uh got pwned there. Uh, -huh. uh somebody's getting clipped. <laughs> Even if this doesn't make it into it, it's gonna make it into a video no matter what. That's too. That was too good. Honestly, that was too good of a, like a one of just a shot in general. Two. That was too good for the timing as well. Like I set out to do a thing and I did that damn thing well. Stop. Um. Fuck. I love how destructible. Can we just talk about it? So let's talk about this uh, map design. Uh, this is one of my favorite maps ever. Why? The f the vibe is amazing. You're in the Pentagon. Uh, it is so clean on this floor. Uh, and the game just becomes more and more dirty as you play. Uh, especially when you go to the bottom floor where everything is just a fucking hellhole. Uh, and I love it. I love every second of it because it's so unique. Uh, ah. I tried to draw a heart. I don't know if you guys could tell because it was so bad. We have no ammo, okay. Empty. I'm empty, dag nabbit. I I'm empty and uh I would uh could you fill me up with your seed uh, daddy? Fill me up, daddy I dunno. Trying to be quirky on man. Doesn't really work out much. Uh I really wanna get the HK uh, MP five K. Uh very good weapon in general. Uh, not good in all aspects. Uh, we, we need to get it. I, uh, really like the music. I, uh, I think that they, they, uh, did a really good choice. Uh, I, uh, don't like taxes. Death to taxes. Uh, if they ever released a gun, uh, I would want it to be called Death and Taxes so I could give death to the taxes. 
Give me. Classes? Only one? Hell yeah. I wanted my HS turns and I want them pack a punched. Take no risks. Suffer no defeats. Take no risks. Win no victories. I love how inspirational that is. It really fits my uh my playstyle as well. I don't care. Like I want to play. I want to play the game. I want to have it quick. I want to have it fast. Uh, I want it all in my mouth. Um, <laughs> jokes, quips, more. Man, who remembers fucking screen? Uh, what is it even called? Uh, it was the video series that was like uh, everything wrong. Like the I can't remember what the channel's called, but like the everything wrong with series. Who remembers that? That was such a like iconic part of my childhood. I remember watching that so much. There were so many YouTube's uh, YouTube channel uh, that I would watch. Uh, but now I just like don't like I watch a lot still, uh, but I don't keep up to date with anything really, because I always just keep up to date with what I want to watch. Obviously. Fuck off! Don't roar at me. Fucking being like uh. Ooh, woo on main. Like, come on. Okay, so we're just gonna use the uh, MP5K here. Uh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to buy this, unfortunately. I don't like hippies. Fuck off. Oh. Okay. I'm not gonna be too dumb. Uh, here's the only one left. Um, see, the question really just becomes. So I spend two fifty, right? I spend two fifty, and I get a box spin. Do I personally think that that box spin, the one box spin, will help me? No, I don't even get a box spin. I can't even get a box spin. So there's actually no point in me doing this. Uh, so I will no simply grab more ammo for this. Uh, and then I guess at this point, honestly, uh, I have the points for the other... Like, we could open up the entire circle at this point. I want to keep this uh, closed for now. Uh, because of the fact that this has two ways, the more ways you can run, the better. In this one, we could get pincered uh, if we opened that up. Uh, and I don't want to get pincered at all, because that's obviously bad. It's crazy to me just how good these like f uh, fully automatic weapons are, especially on early rounds, especially if you're going for the headshots. You have to just... Like, if they get in your face, you just have to... You have to just spam. You have to fight... You have to know when to go in, you have to know when you can go out. You gotta know when you can uh, swing it all about. Fuck you. I really, really did not want that to happen. <sighs> that was literally the worst case scenario. Literally worst case scenario. <sighs> well, I guess it's fine at the end of the day. Because, like, you want to just have enough ammo. Like, I really wanted a, that round to be able to go down. Uh, so now I'm going to have to do an, another round again. Uh, just to be able... Like, we like we have to... You really do have to focus on, like, making sure that you can get through uh, an entire round. Um... You really want to, you just want to do everything on the last zombie. Also, I'm going to be doing, making sure I edit out the last zombie stuff. Uh, unless I say something really interesting, I want to value your time more, obviously. Uh, and especially because uh, of the other video, the uh, other five video, that went on for like 40 minutes. Um, and I would have been, as a viewer, I would have been really annoyed. Uh, not annoyed, I would have loved the content. But when I'm just running around and not really doing any, anything, like, I would feel... Okay, we're opening this now. Uh, I would feel annoyed. 
Uh, I do not condone hugs. Uh, before sex. Oh, if you don't, if you don't take any risks, you get no bitches. You should elect me president, cause I have bitches. Um, uh, I think he's low. He is low. Low to the ground and dead. I absolutely love his quotes when it comes to that type of shit. Come on, in, 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 in. I did not have to. I did not want to have to train him around the entire fucking thing. Uh, if I can help it, of course. Um, so he's stuck at the moment, and it's in here. Cool. Uh, I don't think there's anything super interesting. Oh, there is Bowie knife. So this is the Bowie knife area. That's so interesting. That's so interesting. Uh, I think you have to. If you get presented an opportunity like this, I feel like you just have to go for it, right? Like... Like... You don't get this happen often. Like I feel like you kind of have to. I will gut them and wear their rib cages for hats. But actually, that's gross. Like, you don't get this every day. Uh, we won't. We want to get the ray gun. The ray gun is literally the all star of this entire series. Uh, we can stay down here for a bit. When you have a weapon such as this, uh, you can kind of just fuck around and find out. Uh, and it's one of my favorite aspects of this weapon is just being able to literally spam one button on a on a con like you can just spam up one button uh, and be fine. We're gonna get a bunch of points. Uh, we don't need to worry at all because we can literally just the only time we worry is when there's such a horde uh, that we can't deal with anything. Okay, that, honestly that's fine. Uh, and the reason why it's fine is we can simply just go up. Oh, uh, wait. There's an anagram for team, you know. Okay. Let's try. Okay, so I'm gonna go in. The problem is, as always, uh, well, I mean, we're using the ballistic knife at the end of the day. Literally, fight or flight kicked in, and I chose knife. Um... Uh, quick math tells me that I am fine. We didn't want to be here, but we'll take it anyway. We want jug. We we can just. It's fine. Yep, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, so what we're gonna do? We have the entire circle unlocked. Uh, what we're gonna when we're down here? We're just gonna choose our fights carefully. Uh, we're using, we're going to be using this, uh, I really actually wanted to do this on this map, uh, just because of the, uh, Winter's Fury in general. Uh, this is such an interesting weapon, if you don't know, uh, when you pack a punch this weapon, uh, when you shoot your allies with the, uh, little thing, uh, it revives them. So, you literally just revive your allies, it's actually really cool. Uh, but obviously this does mean... Uh, we are pretty fucked. We have to we have to make sure that we're always using this weapon. Uh, uh, here we go after weapon. Uh, and if we get the 
if we get the boss zombie, we, we kind of just have to, uh, we kind of have to just bend over. Uh, which is something you don't, you want to try not to have to bend over in this game. Uh, but like, if we get the Pentagon Thief, we just have to deal with it. Uh, we have more health now. Uh, and this is going to stay in uh, one shot, one kill for a while. Uh, well, I guess everything is a one shot, one kill now. Uh, but like, we get so many points. Uh... We'll really be able to do whatever we want on this round, uh, on these uh, rounds, uh, points-wise. Uh, I absolutely love this weapon. Uh, it's even cooler when you get the sickle. Uh, and I wanted to show off the sickle just because it's uh, it just makes it cooler. Uh, obviously, as always, a horde of zombies is never uh, a group like you never want to stab into one. Uh, just because if they all windmill you, you can obviously get really easily screwed. Oh my god, Jesus. Uh, die. Um, like, I'm really just trying to think. I guess I really just want to... Uh, I see another zombie in there. I really just want to keep getting... Like, at this point, like, what else am I going to do? I'm just going to try to get more guns, right? At the end of the day, guns are what's going to help me. If we can get the ray gun, we literally are able to pack a punch this weapon, which obviously I want to do. Um, oh, this ought to be a good time. Uh, this, this goes out to all of the Pentagon Thieves. You're a fucking pussy. 1v1 me, I dare you. This run. My luck is at one-tenth of dream luck right now. I have one-tenth dream luck. Uh, which pretty much equates to being godly. Uh, so we'll simply get speed caller, because we may as well, right? Um, that's, this is how fast it reloads. Uh, you only can ever have one on you at a time, uh, which is obviously kind of lame. But fine, really. Uh, we're at DEFCON. Cool. Um, so, we'll kill him when we're up there. You always want to be up here when you do this. Uh, when you trigger the guy, the main man himself. The Pentagon Thief. We should be getting him this round. Um, so, let us see. Oh, but now... Oh, we fucked it up. It'll be the Pentagon Thief, but we won't have any points. Fuck. Please don't. Okay, thank God. Okay, we got se uh, given a second chance, and we're gonna have to eat like thankful, like easily take it. Uh, one thing a lot of people say is mule kick is bad. I honestly think mule kick is one of the best perks on BO1. No, Jesus you. Christ. Uh, obviously knives. Knives can be a painful experience. Oh my God, it's no longer a one shot kill. What? That's so bad for us. Uh, well, I guess in that case, we'll just fucking rake on it. Yeah, there is a catch. You get less points. But if you have uh, the ray gun, you see, you basically don't take any downsides. I uh, believe you're going to get crippled. And uh, when you get crippled, you get tripled, as uh, they say. You get triple the amount of fun. Because you're dead. Um, okay. Like, we, like, we're fine. Okay. Um, I guess this is, like, pretty sustainable, really. Uh, so this round it should be Pentagon. Yep, Pentagon. We did it. Just. We only just did that. Jesus, that could have been so bad. 
Uh, pack a punch. Trials from Fibulator. Uh, and then we'll get this pack a punch. And then literally, we're just gonna go and grab. Wow, this looks really weird. I think this is a plutonium error. Because I remember it being fully. I wonder if this is a one shot kill now. Oh, right. Uh, Jesus, I just wanna wanna be able to play the game. It's a one shot kill again. It's a one shot kill again. I'm happy. I uh, have a massive fucking minigun. I uh, I think I win this. I want your blood and I want your vote. Damn. That's fine. So on round 12, it's still a one-shot kill. Uh, I want to see how, like, honestly, I'm expecting round 14 it stops. Uh, but I'm hoping more. And we'll grab Meal Kick, our final weapon. Uh, honestly, all we want now is the Wonder Weapon. Uh, honestly, Winter's Fury is so fucking good, and, like, it's so interesting to fuck around with. But yeah, as I said... The cross refibrillator, a refibrillator commonly uh, in uh, medical uh, nonsense, uh, is what's used to bring someone together. Uh, I do believe there's actually is a refibrillator and a D something else. There's like two things that are very similar, and one of them uh, zaps the heart to make it like try to stimulate it to have it work. And then the uh, like basically, there's a few things that do. Uh, what you think a defibrillator does. This is actually so fucking good for us. Uh, like, like, we're getting so many points. Like, this is so fucking amazing. Oh, so annoying, so annoying. That's why, like, you need to be able to, you need to keep eyes on your back. You can't fucking fuck around and find out sometimes. But it's fine, honestly. Uh, as long as we can go in, grab Jug, we're fine. Um, uh, yeah, we just need Jug. At the end of the day, we don't even need Speed Cola. Um, we just need to be a bit smarter about how we do things. <laughs> and we, you can see the zombies with all the projectiles in them. That's pretty cute. Um, so, yet again, like, you can tell how useful, um, like, you can see how useful, uh, the Winter's Fury is. It's a get, it's a get out of jail free card. Literally the most powerful type of weapon ever made. A get out of jail free card. Uh, we'll get this back. Uh, we always want uh, as many options open to us at any time. Uh, cool. Uh, I am very curious, uh, if it's still a one-shot kill. The projectile of the knife does, like, nothing. It is no longer a one-shot kill. So I was right. On round 14, it's no longer a one-shot kill. Uh, which is, like, it's still pretty okay. Uh. Uh, and I do ex fully expect at this point to go down. Uh, I find it highly unlikely uh what the fuck was that i find i i don't believe that we would uh just be able to survive perfectly for like at the end of the day we want to use the uh, refibrillator uh and you can't like not you like it, the entire point of the video is to use it. um so if i'm not using it then what am i doing um, so we are just going to see how long we can take, uh, using our, uh, intellect, really. Uh, that one felt like it was going to be a three knife. Um, okay. This is going to take a while to kill these hordes. Uh, but, like, we're going to get so many fucking points at the end of this. Uh, I want to get to another Pentagon Thief round. Uh, that's basically my goal. That's why you gotta be fucking careful. 
you really, as always, you never want to do the lunge. You always want to do the quick uh, swipe. Because uh, if you're doing the lunge, you're probably going to get killed. Uh, and never take hit. Like, I don't know why I'm saying this as if people uh, will like play this and be like, Yes, I'm going to use the Kraus Refibulator. I only get the maximum power. Look how much risk we're taking. We're making so much character. Man, I absolutely. This is so fun. Honestly, though, like I think I can get to pretty high rounds uh, using this weapon uh, if we can get the Winter's Fury as a clutch. Could you imagine Thundergun on this map? It'd be. S Could you imagine Thundergun, uh, Winter's Fury? Uh, that's why you have to be careful. That's why you have to be careful. Uh, if you're too gung ho, you'll just uh, end up dying. Okay, we've done it. Uh, we'll now go. Uh, we teleported base. We teleported literally where we needed to go, and we don't want to kill this guy. CZ later. Um, but at the end of the day, points isn't really an issue. I'm almost gonna put you out of your uh, misery. Dragonov, that's it. Die. You can put out of your misery. We're gonna take it because we can have a third gun. I wonder. No, we can't resurrect the pig. Damn. On it, like he—he he was just annoying me. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um. Okay. We don't care, but we care because we want to be able to get to the actual place we go normally. I love the effect. Of just all the numbers. Uh, I think that means that going into here, well, yeah, there we go. Hail, dare touch a Quaker. It's not called uh, spawn camping. It's called uh, being good. Uh, we will just, while we can, do this. Okay. So we're probably going to die this round, if I hazard a guess. It's still a two-shot kill. Uh, which is still okay. Not optimal, by any standards of the word. Um, but, like, we could still easily do this. I think, personally, I could get to round 18. Uh, you look around and you start to doubt if you can... <laughs> Uh, measure up to the lads, you know what I'm saying? Jesus criminy. So many zombies. It's literally just a, a war of nutrition. Honestly, I feel like you can infinite round this uh, map if you just like if you just do what I'm doing. Uh, most of the time, you won't. Like, you could just, yeah, infinite rounds. As long as you're not dumb about what you're doing. And you take things at a good uh, good pace. I feel like you should be able to just clutch anything. Uh, that could have been really risky. God damn, it's taking so long. I feel like this is going to be such a long and boring video. Uh, just because. But like, it's so you like, it's so fast. Like the weapon, not the knife speed is so fast where it feels like you can kind of just like do this. Like it feels like it's not unrealistic. Uh, to say that uh, this is pretty easy. Like unironically, and I, I think this is. Uh, I really wanted to show this weapon off uh, in 5 specifically. Ah, I was talking high shit and I got fucking wrecked for it. 
That's fine, though. Look at all of them fucking ravaging me. But yeah, the ballistic knife is actually fucking goaded. I absolutely love it. Obviously, as well, you can also revive fallen team members. But with that, I hope you all have a lovely day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, Patreon down below if you want to see any of this early. And with that, have a lovely day.